Hello guys, welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to day 56 of 100 days 100 concepts. So today in this video, we'll deal with what is ore beneficiation. So I hope you have heard this in um, mineral processing or you know non-ferrous extraction processes. So what is ore beneficiation? So basically, ore beneficiation or it is also called as ore dressing. So before going there, let's see this word ore. What is ore? What is ore? So ore is nothing but a type of mineral, okay, which is nothing but the rock which you actually find underground, okay, in a layman sense. So it's a mineral which is actually used to extract metal values from it. Okay. so what is this so all minerals have metal values all minerals will contain metal in it so how can you differentiate any mineral from my ore what is the difference basically between mineral or an ore so basically both are containing these metallic values which we want to extract but the main difference comes when we talk about ore is the percentage of metal so these are kind of some criteria okay which are actually seen okay whether that mineral can be used as an ore for extraction or not okay so the percentage metal should be high enough okay or in other sense the percentage impurities okay should also be low okay so both are same actually the concentration of Metal must be high enough. The third important thing is transportation. Okay, so transportation must be easier from you know mines to the mills where you actually you know work on it. So that's why you find all the ore beneficiation plants somewhere in between mines. Okay, if someone uh, had been to Hedzadal Vedanta in Udaipur, you will find okay how uh, you know how uh, remote the ore beneficiation plants will be right so now the other important factor is also the physical condition okay so whether it is porous whether it is you know good solid rock okay or whether it is a very fine powder like sand okay sand is what ore okay so if you know please try to comment down sand which you see right it is nothing but silica or you if you say it is quartz which is one kind of an ore of aluminium okay al2o3 will be present in it okay but it is not an ore of it because it is not economical to do it okay so it's a mineral of aluminium but it is not an ore ore is something else which is bauxite so we are actually you know considering all this stuff okay which constitutes to my ore Otherwise, it's just a random mineral of any particular material or metal. Okay. So, end of the day, what we are looking to is the economical importance. Okay. So, if these four factors are actually met, then you say that it is an economic importance or, you know, uh, it's called economically important ore. Okay. So, that's why at the end of the day cost matters okay so extracting from sand aluminium extraction from you know the sand which we have is very difficult that's why we have got something called as bauxite which is actually feasible more feasible to extract okay good amount of aluminium because of more metal content and also the physical condition right so this should be clear to you and i hope you all know a famous sentence all ores are minerals but all minerals are not ores okay so there is a difference between them which we have discussed here okay so ore is a mineral which can be used for economical extraction of any metal okay so this is the basic difference of mineral and an ore so now coming to ore dressing what is this ore dressing now so fine 
we have got an or we have chosen an or on which we are actually going to work on now what is this or dressing or or beneficiation so in this we have actually three c's okay i would like to call it as a three c process so number one is called communication okay so communication number two is classification and number three is called concentration okay so these are the three important steps okay three c's of or dressing so communication is nothing but you know converting coarse particles into fine particles let's say you have got 100 mm size rocks okay from underground mines so that cannot be used why because you have to actually make very fine to something called as metal liberation size that means let's say for you know extracting lead it is 106 micrometer so you have to actually decrease the size to 106 micron so for that you use different you know techniques like crushing grinding and then ball milling okay so all these different techniques will be done in combination so main purpose is to convert the coarse ore to fine ore okay this is because the reaction surface area will be high okay so the reaction area will be very high for very fine particles okay let's assume small spheres only okay you should take of the same volume you should take a bigger size okay the reaction area is very less only this much amount of surface area is there instead if you convert that into tiny balls we can see that the surface area will increase right that means your reaction surface area will increase so reaction will be more rapid and more extent and more efficient okay reaction can be done to more extent so more amount of metal can easily be removed in less time okay so this is called combination the second important type is called classification so i think from your childhood you are using this word classification classification means you divide okay something into different categories so here we are actually dividing using the size okay so we may actually undergo combination we may actually convert them into fine sizes but you may not need all sizes together that means you get you always get a mixture of you new know, fine particles let's say i have range of 20 mm to 100 mm and i only want you know sizes which are less than 50 mm so for that you can use many techniques like you no know, uh, screening so if you take a 50 mm screen you have holes which only allow 50 mm sized particles or less than 50 mm sized particles to pass through it and whatever particles which are actually you know of greater sizes greater than 50 mm they will just stay on top they will retain on the top okay similarly if you have different screens different meshes arranged in a vertical manner we call it sieve analysis you have different meshes okay so different sizes can be easily classified in a single go okay so for that you can use vibro feeders and many other mechanisms but your main aim is to separate different sized particles okay that is classification and now you have something called concentration okay so even if you classify if you actually you know go to the metal liberation size everything even then you may actually find more amount of impurities okay which you want to remove out before going for the extraction processes okay so which we'll uh, see in the upcoming videos but here concentration means increasing the percentage of your metal so how can we do it by simply removing the impurity particles impurity content so here also we have various techniques uh, most of the techniques use the principle of you know density differences okay based on the density differences so we know metals have higher density than the impurities right impurities are lightweight so they can easily flow away with any water or you know we have something called as jigging tabling or simple gravity separation can be done okay so to remove 
impurities out of my concentrate ore and form a concentrate the final product is called concentrate okay so of course one of the most important method here is froth rotation which is generally used for sulfide ores okay so i think i did not make a video on it yeah so if i did not make one i'll definitely make one on froth rotation because it's important okay it's one of the important concept that uh, we need for gate metallurgy so yeah so this are the three steps so what we'll do with the concentrate we'll actually go to the extractive processes okay, which we'll deal in the next video right so extractive processes we may have different kinds of extractive processes which we use to extract okay pure metal okay of course it's not pure you will definitely have some amount of impurities you know coupled with it but no you may get around 90 percent 60 percent 80 percent metal present in it okay which can be further refined using secondary refinement techniques okay so this is ore beneficiation or ore dressing so what is ore ore is something which actually is used to extract metal values from it okay and it should be economically important based on these four criteria that the percentage metal should be high impurity should be less transportation must be easier and physical condition must be good enough and supportive to the process that you choose so all these if you are you know actually <coughs> uh, looking for all these then you call it an economically important ore okay so then we go to ore dressing where we have three c process combination converting it from coarse particles to fine size particles classification separating into different sizes and use which size particles you want based on the process parameter again and concentration which is removal of impurities and increase the percentage of metal in your concentrate okay so this is about ore beneficiation so i hope you like this video if you like it please hit the like button and also share with all the gate metallurgy aspirant and if you want to take very good one of the best uh, video course or direct you know mentoring for gate metallurgy you can please visit everythingmetallurgy.com and also along with it you can also check our test series okay which is one of the most affordable test series in India for gate metallurgy. So yeah, that's it for my side today. Meet you tomorrow with one more interesting concept. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching.